Brothers and sisters in Islam, I want to share with you two important matters that the believer is supposed to practice at the time of As-Sahur. Number one, and that is to consume the Suhoor meal. And this Suhoor meal is for the one who is intending to fast that day. So a woman that is upon her monthly cycle, she's exempt from fasting, and everyone else that is not going to fast, it is not a sunnah for them to consume this meal at the time of As-Sahur. And the correct timing for As-Sahur is about half an hour before Adhan al-Fajr or 45 minutes before Adhan al-Fajr, somewhere around this time. Anything before this is considered dinner or a late night meal. It's not considered a suhoor And as a result, people fall into this common practice, which is a common mistake, and they miss out on the reward of a suhoor Anas radiallahu anhu, he says that between the suhoor of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, between that and praying Sunnat al-Fajr, was the time it would take to recite 50 ayat. Reciting 50 ayat will take 11, 12, approximately 13 minutes. You see, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would delay his suhoor extremely, extremely delay it until right before Adhan al-Fajr. That would be the best time to consume a suhoor. So be careful of that. The best type of suhoor to have is dates by far. Even if you're not hungry, have one date so that you can earn the blessing and the reward of a suhoor. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if one does not find dates, then sips of water would be uh, fine to do so for your meal of a suhoor. Brothers and sisters in Islam, don't miss out on this meal. Its purpose is not that you feed yourself and be full. Its purpose is to receive the virtue and the blessing of it. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-mutasahirin That Allah and all the angels, they send their prayers upon those who are consuming as-sahur. Allahu Akbar. You know, يعني, Allah azza wa jal and all the angels are praising this person as he is eating as-sahur. This is the virtue and the reward of the fasting person while he is having suhoor. He hasn't even started his fasting yet. Imagine then the virtue and the honor of this person in the first hour of fasting and then the second and then all the way through until he breaks his fast. So don't miss that meal. And the second very important thing at that time is al-istighfar to seek Allah Azzawajal's forgiveness. Allah Azzawajal, he praised the believers when he said, وَبِالْأَسْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ وَالْمُسْتَغْفِرِينَ بِالْأَسْحَارِ Allah Azzawajal highlighted one of the qualities of the righteous believers is that they commit to al-istighfar at the time of suhoor, saying, أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمُ أَلَّذِي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ الْحَيُّ الْقَيُّومُ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ Don't forget that this time of as-sahur, that is the last third of the night. This is a time in which Allah Azzawajal has descended to the lowest heaven. And it is at that time in which Allah Azzawajal invites us all and says, هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرْ Is there anyone that is asking forgiveness? Anyone out there bothered by his sins, choked by his sins, he feels them as a burden and a huge calamity? Then seek forgiveness. Allah Azzawajal says, فَأَغْفِرَ لَهُ I will forgive him for his sins. So brothers and sisters in Islam, these are the two important matters. Eat as sahur in hope that Allah Azzawajal grants you that virtue and reward. And number two, your time is all istighfar until Adhan al-Fajr.